Hey guys, happy Thursday to everyone. I'm so glad you joined me for a video today. I received a lot of jewelry in the mail and I don't remember all of it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll put it away and I'll forget what I've received. And um, But I, I do participate in a lot of auctions and a lot of uh, eBay sourcing and eBay scouring and scrabbling and all of that. So sometimes I just bring them to you randomly and um, Sometimes I'll do a, a total unboxing But I thought I would just bring you a few things that I picked up from some YouTube auctions uh, some things that I've that I have found recently and uh, From other people that I visited their stores and all of that and so I'm super excited to to bring you some of those things. Some of these things you may have seen in other hauls because many people like Makeup Zombie does hauls and she does her own jarrings and I do a lot of buying from her auction as well. Uh, so you may have seen them. I actually didn't even see the items that I'm about to show you from a bag that I got from her. She did a, a, a oh, there's a pin sticking right out of it. <laughs> there's a, there's a brooch that's open. I didn't see when she hauled this, but I did see it when she offered it for um, her Sunday showcase, so I bought it. But I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about my favorite gems and jewelry and what I look for. And um, I'm going to probably bring this subject up for my A-listers, so I hope that you guys can tune in. But it's all about um, parsing of words and how inadvertently we may sometimes say things that are actually sabotaging our sales. So I will bring that up. Let me write that down. Because <laughs> I'll forget my thoughts too. Sorry about that, guys. I've written down a few of the notes that I want to bring for my A-listers. If you're new to the channel, guys, we do a lot of talk about jewelry here, but we also, many of us are resellers, and uh, we've been doing this for a while. And as anyone who has any knowledge of reselling will know that you never stop learning about selling you never stop learning from others so that's why i want to make sure i wrote that down because i'm going to be a lot of this talk is, is stemming from what i'm bringing you today so we do a lot of um unjarrings jewelry and jarrings the mystery bags are absolutely wonderful if you can find them we often find junk but we often find treasure and treasure is what keeps us going back for that treasure hunt i also like to take you on ride-alongs i love taking you on thrift hauls and garage sales, when I'm in the mood for a garage sale, it's not really my thing, uh, especially in these long, hard, hot month months of August and July, mostly August. It's just, it's horrible. And the garage sales, honestly, they last about an hour and a half or two hours. The people that are running them can't even take the heat. I'm actually going to have a garage sale in October. That's when I like to have mine. That's when I like to go to the flea markets as well so we do that and i hope that you enjoy that kind of content but i don't just talk about jewelry i talk about a lot of things on my channel so be sure and subscribe be sure and hit the bell so you can be notified when i go live as i am now and we can talk in real time but if you watch this later please be sure and comment about anything we talk about so one thing i love and i can't stop buying is charm bracelets and i did pick up this charm bracelet at um at makeup zombie elizabeth's sale on sunday i was taken by the the style of the charms because i mean you typically see the hearts and the the um you know maybe a, a key or other things but these were so different like this is a, some kind of vegetable and i was also taken by the fact that it is so weighty i i'm always happy when my expectations are not just met but exceeded it's extremely weighty. I'm not sure if all of these are sterling. She said the bracelet was sterling, and I believe most of these are sterling. They appear to be, and I haven't looked for all hallmark hallmarks, but I will definitely test them. I don't know if I will sell it as is, or because of the interesting charms, I may sell these separately. These often gain, look at that gorgeous mermaid. Wow, she's even got a pretty detailed backside there. Um, Often these charm bracelets can garner you more money sold separately, especially when they're interesting like that mermaid, that camel. I'm not sure what this is. What is that? Is that a pipe? I can't tell what that is, guys. Can you tell? I can't tell what that thing is. It almost looks like a hookah thing. Or is it a building? Does it say something? I can't tell. And then here's a beautiful tree, which I love. 
I think that's darling. Or at least it looks like a tree, but then it looks like a person holding up the tree. So they're definitely nice. And I have sold some of these charms, guys. They don't have to be James Avery. James Avery does really well, of course, with their vintage charms as well. I mean, they're rare and discontinued, retired. But when they're interesting, like ships or even, you know, the, the traveling kind, like the ones from the, you know, let's say some New York uh, landmarks and things like that. Here's a, a little carriage, some kind of horse-drawn wagon there. So they sell really well. Here's a pup. And this one looks like a Mexican charm, that little picture there. But definitely, they're very weighty. There's a camel. I've never seen a camel charm. And I found that camels do sell really, really well on eBay. Anything camel-related, for some reason, does pretty well. And then this one is another. This one almost looks like a... I don't know if he's pushing a child or if he's selling something out of that wagon. And, um, yeah, I was really, really impressed with the weight of this one. Very nice. And I love the fruit. So that is definitely one thing I look for is charm bracelets. I'm always, always buying them. I also bought another one recently from her that's gold tone. And it was only gold tone, but, again, those really do well. I also have to thank one of the subscribers of uh, mine and Elizabeth's she was kind enough to send me this bracelet that she actually won at the showcase and I won't name her because I don't want to embarrass anyone or and she didn't do it in the chat she actually did it privately so that was very sweet of her to to send this to me as a gift and I so appreciate it I I tried to win it myself <laughs> but she won it and I didn't and it's a beautiful silver tone costume piece kind of uh, a little bit like a malachite imitation possibly really really love these big bold bracelets and that was just so kind of her and like I said I won't mention her but if she wants to she can always comment that uh, that it was her but I do appreciate it so so much so that's a nice piece I love the big bracelets too another thing I bought were these hologra holographic things these are so trendy right now anything with the holographic design from wallets to bags to jackets is just really really trendy and I like this for my daughter I thought she might like it it's just a gold tone pendant but I picked that up there too and then of course the Mexican designs back to parsing of words this is what we'll talk about as well um, and the markings and what to look for in the Mexican markings this one has um, it has a whole artisan a whole artisan number it does say Mexico it actually does say Tasco as well Many of them do not say Tasco. Many of them just have the T mark, and a lot of people assume that that could be Tasco, but this one is. And it's got an indigenous design, turquoise inlay, very big, very beautiful, and uh, you can wear it as a pendant or a brooch. All right, and then here are the brooches that she hauled, and I didn't see her haul them, but she sold them in a lot in her sale, so I was so excited to get brooches. Even though I probably own about, I would say at least 500 brooches. And I have sold many. <laughs> I once sold a batch of 100 at an MSP auction. So believe me, I, I do go through them. This is a beautiful, beautiful kind of an opalite, pearls, champagne rhinestones, and AB rhinestones. And it looks like it may have a mark there, but I mean, let me check with the, with the loop. And let me say hello to a couple of people while I look at this. Okay, it is marked NR. Could that be Nina Ricci? I don't know. It's the only thing I can think of with an NR. But let's see who's here. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Dad's Vintage Garage is here in Kim Cree. And let me see. Oh, I know. The Mermaid's amazing. Mike at the Crazy Card is here. Darlene Buckland is here. Stephanie. Prince... Princesa Araceli's and Shelly and Denise. Thank you guys so much. Gloria as well. Pamela. Pamela, I got back to you on the email. Uh, one more thing, guys. Those of you who are my moderators, I so, so appreciate you being a moderator uh, because, you know, the blue wrenches in here take care of the trolls and all of that. But if you guys are ever reading my comments as well in my 
dormant videos that have already gone up and there's comments on there, feel free to block anyone that's making a derogatory remark or just, you know, erase the remark. You don't have to block them, but at least erase it because I just don't even hesitate with people like that. I mean, there's such a thing as criticism, but if you say something like, you're a waste of time, I'm sorry I watched you, you know, I don't need to read that. <laughs> Feel free to just yank that comment right off of there. But I do appreciate that, just to let you guys know that you do have that um, that power as well as a moderator. Anyway, that's one beautiful brooch. Love that one. Then here's another, wow, this is big. These are all like the big jumbo brooches. Beautiful feather. I believe this is a feather. This one's beautiful. I do see a mark on this one as well. And this one says Monet. Wow, that has to be a book piece. I'm just thinking, I don't know, but that is awfully beautiful and very, very rich in color still. So that's nice. I also really like this jade looking one. It is, I believe, just an acrylic. But look at the design on it. It's just amazing and so big. Oh my gosh. I believe Liz bought these from a, I don't I forgot the story. I watch all of her videos, but then they kind of just kind of morph together. <laughs> I don't know how she met this lady. I think at a thrift store. If I'm not mistaken, I think they were both shopping at a thrift store and they struck up a conversation and the lady said, I've got a lot of jewelry to sell and Liz got on it. Yeah, I love this one. Look at that detail with that bird. Is that a peacock or, or a salamander? I can't, I think it's a bird, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, here's another one. Wow, this one's cute. Wow, so far all of these have been marked. Look at that one. Let's see what this one says. This one says made in Germany. And it's got beautiful, beautiful beads. Stones. Look at those pink ones. Those pink ones are like little leaves and they're kind of AB or carnival glass looking. And that is actually protruding. Wow, that is one beautiful piece. It almost looks like a fire opal, or what is that called? That Mexican fire opal, that really bright orange. Is that what it's called, I think? Hi, Sarah, how are you? Aren't those gorgeous? And there's the mark there, made, made Germany. The little dangles are nice too. They're little like mesh, tubular things with garnet color and again, AB garnet and then sort of that fire opal or carnival glass for lack of better description there, guys. I love that one. That one's really nice. Here is a Christmas tree. This is cute. I don't know if this is sterling. I don't see a mark. It's got a C clasp. It's kind of just a little tin, multicolored, multi-metal, silver and gold tone, probably brass. Possibly silver, but I don't see a mark on it, but that's very cute. I like that. It's like a tree with two people, a child as well. Oh, this is pretty too, guys. Look at this one. Mesh. You love brooches too? Yeah, so that's what I was talking about. I love the brooches. They are definitely my weakness. And I think it's just their their artistry about it, you know? I don't know, because I don't wear them all the time. I wear them a lot on my jacket. I wear them occasionally. I do. I am starting to wear them a lot with shirts that are a little bit too low or that, you know, I may be afraid of popping a button or something. <laughs> I Like, this would be perfect for that, because it's a little bow, you know? So I do love that kind of stuff. But more, I just can't stop admiring their beauty. They're just so gorgeous. Here's a cute, oh wow, look at this bug. And it's articulated, or it's got like little springs. Is that a fly? It's got a blue body, almost like a jelly belly. Really tiny. Let me see if there's not a mark on this one. No mark on this one. It does have a C clasp only. And the C clasp is the one that doesn't have the little turning mechanism, guys. Look, that is so cute. Hi, Storage Pirate. How are you? Ricardo, good to have you here. Oh, we got some abalone, I believe this is. But I believe this is just on. No, it says sterling. Interesting, it says sterling. 
does not look like sterling, but that's what it says. But you know what? Sterling gets really purple. Yeah, this is sterling. Wow, this is a nice abalone stone. The mark is way up here in the corner with an arrow. Can you see it? Right there. That's a beautiful piece. That's another really simple one that would definitely be used on a blouse or a dress with maybe like a cross type of, like a halter, you know, design, but sometimes they open up a little bit too much for work, so I would definitely use that. Oh, that's gorgeous, though. Be nice if it, was a, if it could be a pendant as well. That's a very pretty blue. Lots of pretty blues in that abalone. Looks like Lori Reeves just joined us. How are you, Lori? And then we've got a little, oh, I like this. I can't tell if that's a hat. This looks like a cowboy hat. <laughs> like a, what is it, a 10 gallon hat. Look at it. Doesn't it? Especially with that little motif there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and it's funny how uh, Liz struck up a conversation with this lady who noticed her jewelry, right? How can they not? <laughs> she she adds on about what... I, she weighed those bracelets one time, and I don't remember. I think there were 20 pounds of bracelets she was wearing. I mean, tw not 20 pounds. Like, yeah, close to a, a pound of... I don't remember, but she wears like nine Pandora bracelets, guys. And a ring, three rings in every finger. So how can you not notice and then strike up a conversation? This is a beautiful brooch about jewelry and then the lady just said well i have some jewelry this is interesting this is m-o-n-h on that that is a gorgeous gorgeous brooch i have and am still hunting for a james avery charm of an angel kneeling like this and i had actually found it on etsy and bought it but it was bigger i resold it for about triple what i paid for it on etsy because it was overpowering my bracelet. It really should have been used more as a pendant. And so I'm still in the hunt for the original one because I don't, I've never seen it again or they're very, very heavy. These are articulated guys, look at that. They can be moved. How precious is that? Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. Wouldn't that look pretty on a man's tie? I think it would. <laughs> I love it. I think it's darling. Look, guys, there's 48 people, 19 thumbs up. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. It really helps in the search for people that are trying to find jewelry videos, and it helps grow the channel. So I really appreciate it when you hit the thumbs up. As soon as you walk in the door or before you leave, this is a nice little curb chain brooch. Very heavy, too. Hey, Cynthia, how are you? Let me see if I don't see anything on this. Don't see a mark on this one right off the bat, but that is really pretty, and the color is nice. Very nice. Oh, here's an interesting one. This looks like a spaceship or something. Look at that. Looks like there's a couple of stones that may have turned a little bit, but they're still there. Definitely. Wow, this is totally pave. Now, let me see if I don't see a mark. It is silver in the back, which is interesting. I guess the metal to hold the, the stones is, um, I don't know, maybe more durable. Let me close this one up. But that's a gorgeous piece. Oh, my gosh. That is such a unique design. Very 3D. Look, you can see the rhinestones all around it. Well, I'm telling you, it looks like either a carnival ride. You guys remember the Himalaya or something? Or that one where you would stand around and then it would you'd stick to the wall as it spun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't think of how to describe this. It is gorgeous, though. Ooh, look at this one. That's pretty. Some kind of black stone there. Super cute. Let's see if I don't see any kind of mark on this one. I don't, but that 
this could possibly be jet. I don't know, because some people say it has like striations or little ridges, and this one does in the back. Like, look at that. I don't know. Could just be, you know, acrylic or whatever, but it's a beautiful, beautiful brooch. I love that little starburst design there. That's gorgeous. Ow, poke myself again. What is this? A f oh, this is another leaf. I thought maybe it was a fish because I saw it like this. That's pretty with the pearl. Very nice. Okay, and then this is the little scribble, kind of like um, Paloma Picasso's famous design for Tiffany that everyone copied, including Monet. This is a Monet. It's very nice condition. Very pretty. There's the mark there. And I believe Justin... I think it's got the trademark as well, so it's probably from the 90s or so. I think that's when Paloma Picasso came out with her design. Here's a gorgeous butterfly, gold tone, blue stones. That is really pretty. I do not see a mark on it, and the stones look like... Let me leave something here so the camera will focus. <laughs> Tends to get... Okay, it's so cute, guys. The stones are blue. They're look, they look very 60s or 50s because they're blue, and then they have like a little splatter of gold on them. Can you see that? It reminds me of uh, like a 1960s bathroom or something. You know, the tile colors and all of that. So cute. I guess it was trying to do a little bit of a turquoise uh, imitation. Here's a very nice one as well in the leaf. Love it. Let's see if I see anything on these. No, I don't see a mark on this one, but the condition is amazing. Gold tone. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this one. That's nice. Who is that? Isn't it the Greek goddess, one of the Greek gods or Greek goddesses that has the wings? But look at the, this. looks like the logo of an airline or something. It's so awesome. I love that. Look at that. Wow, very cool. Very cool indeed. No mark on it. But that is gorgeous. I love it. Mercury. Thank you so much. See? Such knowledgeable people. Here is a modern piece with pink stones, silver tone. No mark on it. Very pretty, though, in its own right. Very nice. Another little pin with some praying hands and a heart. Just a straight back pin like that. A teddy bear that's a straight back pin. Nice and heavy, though. And a beautiful little pink stone. October birthstone, I believe. And this one's marked. Let's see what this one. This is Avon. And even the back is marked Avon. That's unusual that for them to still be together after all these years. That's pretty. I like that. Oh, here's a nice starburst design. Looks like that paste type of rhinestone. It is prong set. Very nice. Oh. oh, wow. This is really cool. Let me pull this big one out of here. Look at that. Whoa, Z. Wow. Look at how big that is, guys. Let's see how big that is. That's incredible. Let me take up my ruler here. That's four inches. That is four inches long of butterflies. Amazing. And all colors. The, the tricolored 
rose gold color, silver tone, and gold tone, and then they're all surrounding this gorgeous flower. And I cannot believe there is no signature on this piece. This is really pretty. Very, very nice. And they are embellished with stones too, guys. They have a topaz colored stone on the rose. They have a pink one on the silver and a blue one on this last one. And what a beautiful flower as well. That is just lovely. I like that a lot. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. If I were Liz, I'd be having tea with that lady right now. You know, I had a friend, and don't laugh and don't scoff and don't make comments, but I have a friend who was actually my boss and he was fabulous. But he he was a stockbroker, so he always kind of hobnobbed with, you know, people that were well-to-do and whatnot. And he says, you know, you should always make friends with your neighbors, especially if they're elderly, because they have a lot of collectible things. <laughs> and when they start moving out or whatever, they give you things. <laughs> and he got some amazing furniture and things from some of his neighbors, because he was just a very sweet man, but he always said, you know, be be very wise about who you who you become friends with. <laughs> Oh my goodness, and he, I mean, he got Louis the 13th furniture and just amazing things, and he decorated his office with him. This is glass, guys. It's kind of like the dome glass. It's very pretty. I really like it, and I'm surprised it doesn't have, and look, you hang it, you can pin it this way. See, because it's more over at the top, right? So it really should be this way. I'm sorry you're getting that glare there, but it is so pretty. Which glare is that? That one? This one. One of these is coming in really glary. Roses. Just gorgeous. Yeah, it's true. It's definitely true. So he was, I mean, he wasn't just all talk. I mean, he would take the meals and and he was uh, he was just very nice. And and he would always cook and then he'd always be sure to, to take them a little casserole dish. And, and that's just was his philosophy. And he was right. <laughs> he really was. Okay, I'm not sure how this goes, but this is really kind of cool. It's like a hodgepodge of charms on this beautiful thing. Thank you so much. This is really a nice one. It's got rhinestones all around. It's got that, uh, what is it called? That The one that's kind of like crushed, and it almost looks like it has a sprinkling of glitter around it. And of course, it has a little tassel with a rondelle type design there as well. And then some gold colored stones. They are plastic acrylic. There's some a little drop, a little silver drop, and then a little crystal looking drop as well. So that is really, really interesting. And I love these bar type pins. I think they look so nice. This is really heavy too. So this would probably be best on a coat. Did I say a fancy word, Kelly? What did I say? I didn't say cartouche or whatever that is. I never say that word. Look at this, guys. Nice. Nice. Love the old glory all the time, every day. All right. Got a pretty bow. Rondell. Oh, Rondell is one of these. It's usually a bead. And this is not really a bead, but it's usually a bead that has the rhinestones all around it. And they do it a lot in necklaces for spacers and, and stations. And it's called a rondelle. All right, here is a pretty bow. No mark on it. Gold tone, very cute. Very heavy. Oh, wow, I love this. I just sold a boot. This one's cool. This one's cool. When they move and, and all of that, I love it. And it's kind of... Uh, Enamel. It's got some gifts. I just sold Santa's boot on Etsy, I think, last month. A lot of Christmas things up already. I need to take more pictures. Before I get back to work, guys, I'm going to be busy. And I won't be seeing you as often. Because I'm going to be busy, and I really have started going to the gym after work as well. I don't want to come home and plop on the sofa and not move. I'm, I'm just, I mean, that's, it's like a vicious cycle, right? You gain weight, you 
eat and go to sleep and you gain more weight. So I'm trying to get to the gym right after work instead of coming home or as soon as I come home, maybe have a little snack or something and then go. I love the teddy bear. Look at him. He's got one little paw curled up and the other paws have rhinestones. He's blinged out. Look at him and he's kind of like a 2D, I guess. He is pretty. Black rhinestone eyes and some rhinestones on those ears too. So that's why I'm doing a lot of videos right now. Taking advantage, I will be going back to school pretty soon, back to work. Oh, that's an interesting one. Very cool. And then this is a partridge in a pear tree with the pears. That's an interesting one, too. I like that. Guys, excuse the ink. I was making some labels today. Very nice. I had just found another Christmas brooch that is the partridge in a pear tree. I think it came out of a jar. Oh, look at the two owls. This is cute, like for a school teacher on his tie or something. I'm so excited. I really am because I'll be doing mostly sixth grade, except when I do my um, impromptu speech class or when I do my enrichment. I have a mixture of all grades, but the concentration for my special education kids is going to be sixth graders. This is Avon. So I'm really happy to, to do that because they still have a lot of their fifth grade habits <laughs> that are endearing as well as challenging. <gasps> Ooh, look at this one. This looks like it's gold filled or gold um, plated or something, guys. It's got that beautiful shade of rose gold. It almost looks coppery. And it's got etching on it. That is pretty. You guys see that? That's really nice. I uh, got this jewelry lot from Makeup Zombie over at, um, oh, her name is Liz. She has a channel called Makeup Zombie. And she does a, sh a Sunday showcase every Sunday at 4 p.m. Central. And she sold this lot of brooches as a as a you know a grab bag but it was all brooches and she does that often she always does brooches or pendants or sometimes she just does um you know what do you call it a hodgepodge of a grab bag with all kinds of mixed jewelry here's another very interesting vintage one again she picked this lot up from a woman that she met that uh admired her jewelry and they started talking about jewelry and she sold her a lot of different jewelry and this was one batch that she she was able to acquire look at that guys what do you call that i know someone out there knows something about this it's like glass and it almost looks like dried flowers there or something look at that it's an amazing hi how are you i haven't seen you in a while miss harley ground are you doing okay I hope you're doing all right. We've missed you over there. I've missed you at my Facebook auction and just being here in the comment section. But I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I don't know what this is, guys, but it is awfully pretty. And then it almost looks like a little landscape scene there. You see that? Very cool. Oh, thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm excited. I really am. I, I'm very happy to be on vacation and I love being able to do my eBay business full force and you know YouTube and all that little red hat society pin but uh, there's nothing like getting a new batch of kids and watching them grow and you know come into their own okay this says Mon Monday <laughs> turned it into French guys Monday is what it says it says Monday. It doesn't say Monday. <laughs> it's a very heavy straight back pen. So I'm not sure uh, even what the design is. Guys, can you tell? Is it leaves? What is that? <laughs> Monday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> even though, it, what is it in French? Lundi, 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 Lundi. I forget. I, I get my French and my Italian mixed up. I love this one, guys. This is a vintage, ah, uh, rhinestones. You can tell right off the bat the quality of these stones. And it's a little brooch, and it's, look at that. It's even curved, kind of concave there. Isn't that 
awesome. That would be nice on a blouse too. Oh my gosh, here's the circle pin. This one's marked. Well, not quite a circle pin, but a big giant brooch. Let's see what it says. Guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It looks like 60 people took some time out to be here. Please take, take some time to leave the chat for a minute, go over by the screen, and turn that finger that's up, turn it blue. Okay, what does this one say? This has an interesting name that I can't read. I almost think it says Canada. See, it I means you just can't. It's just like all together. I cannot make that out to save my life. But there it is there, and it is pretty. Different textures of the gold there as well. We have a really pretty key. I think all of these are Avon. Again, just the straight back type with a pearl on it. So cute. This one doesn't say Avon. The other ones did. But it's a nice gold tone. Is it a Coventry? Here's a beautiful little, I don't know if I showed you this one, little ladybug, tiny little thing. Cute. Those would make cute scatter pins, don't you think? They really would. And then you do need a third, of course. Maybe this one. Maybe this little bug. Did you guys see this cute bug? Yes, I think I like that because there's the red and the blue. And this one has these little springs on the wings. Springs on the wings. A circle pin. Classic circle pin. Oh, look at the fan. Okay, see, we have a whole array of beautiful straight back pins. They're so cute. And this one also could be adjusted different ways. Let's see what this one says. This one has a mark as well. Wow, this is a fabulous lot. Like I said, I would be having tea with this lady right now, taking her some cookies or something. Making friends and having her take out some more jewelry. Let's talk jewelry, right? Here's a little awareness ribbon, breast cancer awareness ribbon. And this one I love too. This is very, very mid-century from the design. And it is a crown trafari. There's, let me show you the logo really quick so you can see it in case you're not familiar. Crown Tafari with the copyright. But the design is just so mid-century, don't you think? I could see that with one of those little nubby wooly dresses, like a little sheath dress, and nothing but this brooch and maybe some little button earrings. Yeah, this is nice. And then we have a sterling filigree. Wow, this one's gorgeous. Look at that. I cannot believe I missed this haul when she did it. I think she I think she broke it up into three parts. I'll link her channel, guys, so you can check out her channel. I'll, ch I'll link it here and uh, see all of the wonderful things that she offers. It doesn't look like it's marked, but it does look like many sterling pieces that I have seen out of uh, Mexico but I'm not sure. Or Germany. I think I've seen some from Germany, too. I had one the other day that everybody thought was Mexican, but it was actually marked Germany, and it did test sterling, and it was marked sterling as well. This is amazing. I love this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that one a lot. And let me see what else is here, see if I didn't drop anything else. Oh, I think that is what we got, guys. I'm going to come back with another video probably tomorrow with a grab bag that she was kind enough to send me as well. She sent me a little grab bag as a gift. Again, I want to thank my wonderful friend, mutual subscriber of mine and, and zombies, but like I said, I don't, and of Liz, but I didn't want to mention her because she didn't. She didn't uh, acknowledge that I should. So, But very grateful that she was so kind to send me that people are so generous and kind and i appreciate you guys so much i appreciate you watching please come back again for some more jewelry jars and all of that and uh, have yourself a wonderful day enjoy it it's a gift thank you so much